Hello, and welcome to today's lesson in our English is for All program. My name's Joe, and I'm going to be your teacher today. Don't forget that you can pause this video at any time if you need to stop and review something. And don't forget to write down your questions so you can share them with us in our online YouTube tutoring sessions, or post them in the comments below, and one of our teachers will be happy to help you. Thanks again, and enjoy your lesson. So welcome to lesson one, beginner two. Today, we're gonna to be looking at verbs we might use to describe how we feel about certain things, such as people, places, and activities. These are important verbs to know how to use, but they can be a little tricky sometimes. So let's go through some of them together. Before we get started, here are some vocabulary words that we might be using today. So for instance, we have subjects in school. There is mathematics or math, history, geography, science, physics, biology, chemistry, social studies, psychology, English literature, art, and music. Adjectives we might use are fun, boring, interesting, fascinating, difficult, easy, hard, inspiring, awful, and creative. And some schoolwork nouns we might use are homework, assignment, project, essay, quiz, test, lab work, and experiment. Verbs such as like, love, and hate can be very helpful when describing how we feel about certain things. These are what's known as regular verbs. That means that when we're using these verbs, we are usually talking about a noun. It's very easy, so let's give it a try. For example, we like tea. I love my boyfriend. Jenny hates coffee. In each of these sentences, we've identified a subject, and a noun, and we are using the regular verb to describe how we feel about the noun in question. So in this first example, we are talking about tea, and how do we feel about it? We like it. See, not so hard. When making a general statement, we do not use indefinite articles such as a or an, but we may use plural nouns. Here are some examples of general statements. I like dogs. He loves parties. I hate spiders. For a specific statement, we can use definite articles such as the, those, these, that, or this, or a possessive adjective such as my, your, his, Bob's, etc. For example, I like the dog. I love my dog. I hate those dogs over there. As you can see in these examples, we are using the definite article to identify the specific thing that we're talking about. So in this first example, we are saying that I like dogs as a general statement. I like most dogs. However, if you look at example two, I hate those dogs over there. By using the definite article, I've identified the specific dogs that I'm talking about. It doesn't negate my general statement but just makes a statement about the specific dogs in question. You can also make these sentences negative by using a simple formula, which is do, not, and then the verb. For example, I do not like the dog. Sam does not hate spiders. You can also ask yes or no questions by using the formula do plus the noun plus the verb. Do you like dogs? Does he love your mother? Do they like tea? By using the formula do plus noun plus the verb, you immediately make the sentiment you like dogs a question that someone can answer yes or no. It's very easy. We can use verbs such as like, love, and hate to talk about activities as well, but this can be a little trickier. To describe how we feel about certain activities, we can use the word to before the activity, or we can add the suffix ing or ing to the verb in the activity. For example, I like to read books. I like reading books. He loves to play soccer. He loves playing soccer. By using to and the suffix ing, we are identifying the noun as the activity in question, and then we're using our, our standard formula of subject plus verb plus noun to describe how we feel about it. So in this first one, I am the subject. What am I talking about? I'm talking about how I feel about 
reading books, or if I like to read books, how do I feel about it? I like reading books. It's really, really quite simple once you get the hang of it. So let's practice telling me about how you feel about certain activities. Answer the questions below. Make sure you answer using the same form as the question, but make it your own. You can use like, love, or hate to describe the activities below. So in our first example question, do you like to ride the bus? And our second example question, do you like playing soccer? Now, you might have answered however you felt like at home in this specific example. No, I do not like to ride the bus. In this one, we have both negated it by using the do plus not and plus the verb. And we've used the two to identify the fact that we're talking about the activity of riding the bus. No, I do not like to ride the bus. However, in this bottom example, we're using the ing suffix to identify the activity of playing soccer. And I'm sure most of us love playing soccer. I hope you enjoyed your lesson today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos and hit the bell icon to turn on notifications for all future videos. If you've enrolled in our premium or interactive ELAN programs, we invite you to use our learning platform to complete all of your exercises in our virtual library according to your own level. Our teachers have also chosen additional resources that can be very helpful in the learning process. Once again, thank you for choosing ELAN, and we will see you next time.